the last time that I was there. Right. Marie, this is Ms. Novak. She's from Chicago. Marie is our receptionist. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I'll get your tickets. Thank you. You look very familiar to me, Marie. Have we met before? I don't think so, no. Well, I never forget a face. I'm sure I know you from somewhere. I don't look familiar to you. I'm sorry, no. I know. We met in Chicago. You were a waitress in a restaurant near the Art Institute. I've never been to Chicago. Oh. Have you ever driven a taxi in Egypt? <laughs> no. Oh, you were the pilot on a small airplane in China. You flew me over the Great Wall. Oh, no. Have you ever gone snorkeling in Australia? No. Driven a bus in Peru? <laughs> Ms. Novak, I'm quite sure we've never met before. I came here only a year ago from Paris. Paris? Well, my sister Katerina lived there for a year. Katerina? Katerina Novak? Yes. She lives with me. Of course, you were in all the pictures she sent home. <laughs> what a coincidence. You see, I never forget a face. <laughs> I have your tickets. Oh, thank you. Did you know that Marie knows my sister, Katerina? Really? It's a small world, isn't it? So, are you going sightseeing before you leave? No, I'm going back to the hotel to read. What? You're visiting our great city and you're not even going to see it? I've come here once a month for eight years. I've seen it all before. I'm sure I can think of something you haven't seen. I think you're wrong. Have you visited the Riley Museum of Art? Twenty times. Hmm. Have you ever been to the top of the Olsen Building? Just last month. Have you eaten at Andre's Cafe? Twice. Ever been to Cold Beach? Yes. Seen the City Opera? Yes. Toured the Japanese Gardens? Yes. You can't have done everything in this city. I'm afraid it's true. Have you ever visited the Museum of Cheese? There's no Museum of Cheese. Aha. Uh -huh. It is really amazing. Everyone goes there. I can't believe you haven't been there yet. <laughs> Marie, could you call the Museum of Cheese and reserve tickets for Ms. Novak and me? You're not serious. I am. It's at the corner of 7th and Oak. I'll see you there at 4. Okay. I'll see you there. Thank you. Goodbye, Marie. Say hello to Katrina for me. Goodbye. Bye. Mr. Evans, is there really a museum of cheese at 7th and Oak? <laughs> it's a wonderful little cheese shop. They have every kind of cheese. Some of it's very old. So, yes, I'd say it's a museum of cheese. <laughs> There's no back in love. Give us another one, Marie. We're running out of time. Oh, there she is. I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't find a parking space. Have you been here long? Since yesterday. <laughs> but it's no problem. The waiter brought us food, and, and we slept on the floor. Have you chosen a movie yet? We've been trying. Unfortunately, these guys have seen almost everything. We like the movies. What about the action film, The Last Train to Hong Kong? Where is this train going? Believe me, you'd rather not know. We're going to Hong Kong, aren't we? rather stay here and fight the hundred men? No, but I've always wanted to see Hong Kong. Look up! We've been doing this for a half hour. That 
Alex a little too violent for me. What about On the Bridge? I hear it's great. You're late, Frederick. I'm sorry. And I've waited for you for so long. I got stuck in traffic. For two years? Very romantic. How about the horror movie, The Hand? I've just returned from the train station. Have you seen anything lately? No. We should go inside. Good idea. I don't want to see that terrible hand. Do you really think there's a hand out there that... Stop doing that right now, and the movie tickets are my treat. Deal! <laughs> I'm not buying you popcorn. Oh, come on. So, what do you want to do? Hey! Isn't that David Doolittle, the famous British actor? You're right, it is. Let's go say hi. No! What are you doing? Aren't you David Doolittle? Well, yes, I am. Wow, we really like your movies. Thank you. You're great. Thank you very much. Remember that movie where you were that dancer? What was that called? The Dancer? That's it. That was unforgettable. I love that one where you're the chef. What's that one called? Dr. Falk. <laughs> that was so funny. Unforgettable, man. Thank you. My favorite is the one where you're that robot <laughs> musician named DD42. Yeah, oh, I just saw that movie again last week. That's a great movie. What's that called? Songs of Love. Yeah, man, that's unforgettable. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I have to go soon and I should finish my lunch. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. It was nice to meet you. Well, you too. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Isn't that what you say at the end of that movie where you're the pilot? Uh, pie in the sky. Yeah! Unforgettable, man. Unforgettable. <laughs> Would you guys care to join me? <gasps> What's your favorite? Hello, top-notch travel. Um, one moment, please. Hello, top-notch. Uh, just a moment, please. <laughs> top-notch. Uh, hold, please. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Beatty. Cheryl? I'm afraid Cheryl's not here. You're not satisfied with your hotel. No bellman. I'm sorry. Cheryl will call you back. Okay. Goodbye. Hello? Uh, yes, hello, Mr. Rashid. Uh, Cheryl's not here. Can I take a message? You want a cheaper hotel in Budapest? A hotel without breakfast is okay. Very good. I'll give Cheryl your message. Goodbye. Hello? Oh, hi, Ms. Novak. She'll be right back. Is there a message? Can your cat stay with you at your hotel in Rio? and you'd like to reserve a king-size bed. I'll ask her to check and call you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you're back. I have three messages for you. Let's see. Mrs. Beatty wants a cheaper cat. <laughs> Mr. Rashid isn't satisfied with his breakfast. <laughs> and... Ms. Novak thinks the bellman needs a king-size bed. <laughs> um, 
They'll explain it all to you. What? 